Hello all, how are we doing today? So normally I do this video, I think usually on the first, but girl been working so she couldn't. So anyway, I figured I'll make it today. So happy Pride Month to everybody. Happy, happy Pride Month. Now I always, um, during Pride Month, well, at the beginning of Pride Month, I always make a video and I always discuss, you know, different, you know, topics and my feelings and things like that. And I wanted to start this off with, you know, I am, I, I seen on Twitter and I retweeted it, that we have to be mindful that in some countries, you cannot be who you are. You cannot, you are not free to love who you want to love. You are not free to be, you know, if, if you're a man, but you feel like a woman or if you're a woman and you feel like a man, you're not allowed. Okay, because either the punishment is either, you know, it is severe. It's usually um, imprisonment, death, severe beatings, you know. So there are, to live in a country, I mean, I live in America, you know, other countries also um, are accepting, you know, but there are people out there that do not have the rights that a lot of us have to be able to live open and freely. Um, and be who they are. So we must always make sure we respect, love, and appreciate that, you know, if you do live in a country that is able, you know, you're able to be who you are, you know, be thankful, you know, and I really hope that one day all these countries, you know, get on board and, and do the same. You know, I believe Russia is one that, you know, because I remember the, Olymp the Olympians didn't want to go there. Um, but it's just the point. I'm not 100% sure, so don't clock me on it. But anyway, um, so always think that there are people out there that cannot freely live their life. And that breaks my heart. It just does because I can't imagine the position that they're in. There are people that live here, you know, that can't freely live their life because of, you know, families or this and that. And you know, in talking about that a little bit. Now, I am not a religious person. I, I'm not like one of those, you know, honk if you love Jesus. I'm not, but I, I you know, I, I am a God-loving woman, you know. For the people that say, you know, oh, God, whatever, unless you personally walked up and said, hey, God, can you tell me how you feel about, you know, the LBGTQ community? You know, you don't know. You don't know. Nobody has personally walked up and asked that man. So I'm, I, I just don't want to hear that because the way that I look at it is, and, and again, I am not dogging on anybody's religious beliefs, but there's one hypocritical thing that I never agree with. And God accepts and loves all, unless you're divorced, gay, you know, bisexual. No, 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 no. Children out of wedlock. No, no, no. God is supposed to love and accept everybody. So the people that sit there and say, oh, you're a sinner, bullshit, because so are you, okay? Everybody's a sinner. Every single last one of us is a sinner. And if you tell me you're not, you're full of shit. Just keeping it real. So I just wanted to touch a little bit more on the serious aspects because I just living, and I know... You know, I've always been, you know, loving and accepting of everybody. I, I don't care who you are. But you as a person have no right to judge anybody for their race, their gender, their sexuality, their size, their culture, their religion. You know, everybody has different re religious beliefs and you have to accept everybody. You know, I mean... There's religious beliefs that I don't agree with, but that doesn't mean the person that does agree with, you know, that, you know, follows them religious beliefs is any less of a person. I was just bringing up the religious things on where people come out and say, you know, God doesn't accept that unless you ask him personally. Y you don't know. You just don't, you know. But <clears throat> no matter what you are, if you want people to accept you, you have to accept them. If you want to be loved and accepted in your life, you need to love and accept others and theirs. And that's just the, that's just the way it works, you know, and we can't be judgmental or think that we're better than anybody. We just can't do that because we're not. Nobody's better than anybody because at the end of the day, we're all living in a world where we just live day by day, 
you know, life is hard for all sorts of different people. You know, even rich and famous people have their sets of problems, obviously. You know, so everybody has real life struggles and real life demons and real life issues. So we can't judge people for, you know, their sexuality, their colors, their anything. No, judge them on their characteristics. If they're an asshole, you call them out on that. You can judge them on that if they're an asshole. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a difference. You know, you, you never judge a book by its cover. That's always my, like, motto. Don't judge that book by its cover because you can find some pretty damn good books. But no, seriously, you can meet a lot of wonderful and amazing people and make a lot of amazing friends if you open your heart and... And you're that person that loves and accepts. And you will be rewarded. You will. I mean, if you love and accept others, you'll be rewarded. You always are. And it may not seem like it, but you do. Um, so I just wanted to come out here with that message that, you know, you can't judge anybody. You, ha you have to accept. And we have to also be mindful to those um, that live in other countries that cannot express the same freedoms that we have, that have to live a lie, that have to live in shame, that it's just, you know, I'm glad that there's a lot of, you know, steps that are going forward, but we're still a long way away. We really are. There's such a long way away of everything, but I'm glad that, you know, we're moving forward in a right direction and I'm proud for that, but Again, there's still a lot of ways to go. And I don't mean to offend anybody on, you know, the religious or whatever. I was just trying to make a point, you know, that we can't say, none of us can sit there and say what God wants because unless you talk to him, you have no idea, you know? So it's like the drama channels, you know? We cover the tea, you know, we do, but you got to hear all sides of the fence too, you know, so that's why I like watching them all because everybody has different opinions, you know, but you know, we're all different and that's what makes this world so beautiful. I mean, because again, if we were all the same, it'd be boring as shit. It would be. Everybody's different. And everybody has, you know, a contribution to the world. But I do want to say this, that hate does not, you're not born with hate. You're not. You learn that from the adults. You learn that from society. You know, when there are two children in a room playing, two small children, neither one of them is looking at each other like, what color are you? What are you doing? They, they just want to, they share their toys. They play with their toys. They whatever. You know, kids will get along together. But as they grow, as the adults are more in their life and in their ears, that's when it starts. So I think, you know, the teaching of love and acceptance is wonderful to teach our children that, but we also have to teach the adults that because the adults are the ones that are initially going to pass that information down to their children. So we need to reteach some of the adults to say it is not right to ch teach your child hate, whether it be, you know, teaching them you know, homophobic ways, teaching them racist ways, you know, having language, you know, saying things that are inappropriate or, you know, talking down. You have to raise your children. You have to be that community leader. You have to be that standout person to say, you know, no, this isn't accepted. This is the way that life goes. And I think if we turn into a society where, you know, all of our children, you know, are, are taught, you know, from birth on that just accept everybody and there's no hate whispered in their ear, it would be fine. That's just my opinion. You know, a lot of the stuff stems from adulthood. It does. It stems from, you know, a generation, a generation, a generation, and a generation. And we need to break that generation. We need to break off that, you know, that line and start a fresh line in the sand. We need to, we need to, you know, just like erase that slate. I'm not saying, you know, don't teach history or things like that, but what I'm saying is we got to stop that hatred being passed down and passed down and passed down and passed down and just make the buck stop. The buck should stop here and, you know, just teach children love and acceptance. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be, you know, on a good, good roll and, you know, a good, good path of nobody cares what color you are, nobody cares who you sleep with, nobody cares what you identify yourself as because they shouldn't.
because it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect you. If somebody is um, <clears throat> gay or bisexual or transgender, it does not affect me at all, period. It doesn't. It doesn't affect you at all either. It doesn't affect the way you pay your bills. It doesn't affect the way that you clean your house. It doesn't affect the way you sleep at night. It doesn't affect your health. It doesn't. So the reason why people focus on it, I have no idea. And I never will understand it because it never does matter. You know, people are, you know, people. And they should be judged by their character, by their heart, and by their soul, and not by their appearance, and not by their sexuality, period. That's just my thoughts of the day. So I wanted to come out and, you know, celebrate Pride Month and, you know, give everybody a message. And if there's any haters watching this, you know, I implore you to really give me a reason why if somebody is, you know, gay or transgender, how that affects you. And it better be something real good, real good, because it, 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 there's nothing that affects you, absolutely nothing. And I'll put, and I'll set you straight. So I really hope you guys have a wonderful day. Spread love, not hate. You know, let's hope we we can break that gap, break that break that chain. Let's let's break that chain and just start on a good path. And I hope we can someday. And I hope all countries, all of them, learn to love and accept everybody for you know who they are and just it would be a much better place and you would feel so much better about yourself you just would you'd feel so much better just being open and loving and accepting you feel so much better you feel like me a little giddy giddy ball <laughs> anyway i love you all and thank you so much for watching five seconds five minutes five moments of my video spread the love kisses